So a couple of months ago, I did a video where I replaced the stock bumper on this truck with a do-it-yourself bumper kit from Move Bumpers. And I'm really happy with the way that it looks and I get compliments on this everywhere I go. But there is one question that I get asked almost all the time and that is, why didn't I change the rear bumper? Well, this is an easy problem to fix, which is exactly what I'm going to do in today's video. So this box was delivered to my house the other day and inside of it was my Move rear bumper kit. The kit was packed pretty well inside the box. It was even encased in some type of spray foam to help protect it during shipping. The kit also came with instructions that had plenty of pictures to help with the installation process. And yes, this is a heavy duty kit. All the pieces are 3 16 inch steel with the exception of the tow hooks, which I chose to upgrade to the beefier off-road style. I also chose to have the rear mounted light holes and step cutouts, which are also options that can be added to this kit. And now is a good time to point out that if you're thinking about buying one of these bumpers and you want to save $50, be sure and use the discount code making stuff over at the Move Bumpers webpage during checkout. You can also use this discount code at the North Lights webpage and save 20% off your order from North Lights. I'll have links to both of these websites down in the description of the video. I do want to mention that the kit I'm assembling today is for a 2016 Ram 2500 and these kits do differ a little bit from make and model so assembly may be a little bit different for you it just depends on the make and model of your truck. So with that said before I can start welding this kit together there are a couple of things I need to do First, I need to cut a hole out for the trailer wiring plug. As you can see here, it's not going to be as simple as just drilling a hole and placing the receptacle in it. And to make a long story short, I recommend just using a hole saw and an angle grinder to cut out this oval shaped hole in your bumper. I tried to get fancy with mine and use my CNC plasma cutter to cut this oval shaped hole and I broke my CNC uh, plasma cutter in the process. And I wasted overall about three hours just messing with this and that CNC plasma cutter. It only took me about 20 minutes to cut it out with the hole saw and the angle grinder. And to me, it looks just as good as what the CNC plasma would have done in the first place. The second thing that I need to do to my bumper is to make some relief cuts for the class five trailer hitch. My truck comes with the class five trailer hitch from the factory and the move bumper won't fit unless these cutouts are made. The kit comes with these patch pieces that get welded into place after the cuts are made and this wasn't really that hard to do. Again, I just used the angle grinder to make the cuts and I think the hardest part of the whole process was just holding all the pieces together while I marked out what needed to be cut. The last thing I need to do is bevel all the sides and clean up all of the edges. This will help make a stronger weld and this is a bumper and it is going on the back of my truck so I'd like for it to be as strong as possible. So now that I have all of the pieces prepared, it's time to start assembly. This kit is supposed to be assembled while it is on the truck with the exception of the three center pieces. Those are supposed to be welded on a flat surface using a straight edge to keep them in line. Once those are tacked together, it's time to remove the factory bumper, disconnect the battery, and start tacking all of the pieces into place, which is exactly what I plan on doing right now.
So now that this bumper is fully tacked, it's time to crank up that MIG and start welding this sucker. So I have the entire bumper, the front of it welded, but this is a bumper. It's going to go on the back of my truck. I want this as strong as I can possibly get it. So now I'm going to flip it over and weld the backside. And through the magic of video editing, I have got the bumper fully welded in a matter of seconds for you guys. But for me, it took the better part of about half a day. But now the bumper is fully welded on both the back side and the front side. So now the fun part of grinding begins. So I thought I was ready to start spraying this bumper. I've got it all ground down, the edges, it's all nice and smooth, nice and shiny. And I realized I had forgot one important part and that was these massive tow hooks. So I need to bevel these edges, weld these tow hooks onto the bumper, and then I'll be ready to start spraying it. All right, so I got the bed liner sprayed on the bumper and it looks really nice. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. There's really not much left to do, but right now I think I'm gonna go install it on the truck and see how it looks. All right, so I've got the bumper installed on the truck, but before I show it to you, there is one final thing I need to do, and that is fill in these holes with some lights. And the lights that I'm going to be using in this project come from North Lights. I will have links in the description. And yes, you can use the discount code Making Stuff, and you can save 20% off your order over at the North Lights website. On my bumper, I'm going to be using these flush mount lights. They have this flange that goes around it so they can be mounted flush to the bumper. And I'm going to wire these into my reverse lights so when I am backing up, I can actually see what I'm backing into. These lights come with all the necessary hardware to mount it, as well as a gasket that goes around each light. Each light set also comes with a wiring harness, which has the relay, the switch, the weatherproof plugs, and also the fuse all built into the harness. So it's real easy to install. It's basically just plug and play. I do need to do something about the license plate lights and I do not plan on trying to reuse the light assembly that is on the stock bumper. Instead, I am going to use these license plate post lights and I will have a link to these in the description of the video. And the way they work, you just run the wires and the light through the bolt hole on the license plate and the bumper. And this is what holds the license plate in place. And it also will illuminate the plate. 
And the only thing I have to do is just splice these into the wiring harness on the truck. The lights are installed, the bumper is on the truck, it's time to call this project officially done. I'm really happy with the way this bumper turned out. I think it looks just as good, if not better, than that front bumper I put on the truck a few months ago. So remember, if you're thinking about buying one of these bumper kits, be sure and use the discount code making stuff at checkout over at the Move Bumpers website or the North Lights website where you can save some money and use that cash to buy some fuel and drive around and show off your new bumper. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you aren't a subscriber, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.